Hi, this is Mario Harrow of the Piano Podcast. I've gotten a lot of emails from people who are wondering how I was able to make a recent video on uh, me playing the piano and singing at the same time, two of me in one video, and I wanted to give you a little behind the scenes of how I was able to accomplish that, and it was actually pretty easy here. There's two elements that uh, made this uh, uh, pretty simple to do. One was you need a Yamaha uh, Disc Clavier Mark IV Grand Piano, although maybe you don't need it, but it made the whole process a whole lot easier to be able to record myself uh, on the player piano itself. And then also I use a video editing program. Uh, it's actually also a screen recording program that I'm using here too uh, called ScreenFlow by Telestream, and this is how I did it. So I recorded myself twice. One was just myself playing at the Disc Clavier piano like this. So um, since it is a Yamaha Disc Clavier player piano, you can record yourself and then uh, play it back to yourself. And that's what I did here in the second clip here, in this Autumn 2 clip. Uh, you'll see this clip of me just singing to the recorded piano part like this. the idea as far as that's concerned. So the next step is to take that second clip of me singing with the disc clavier playing the piano part and I just drag that into the timeline here in the ScreenFlow project. What I like is you see these, um, oh, hold on a second, uh, you see these wa uh, the waveforms of the audio so I just use that because that tells me where the piano comes in exactly and you could just use your naked eye more or less and if you want to get more precise, you could zoom in here. But I think that's pretty darn close here. So what I'm going to do, now I drug that, but it's behind the, uh, the first clip. It's, it's kind of hidden here. Like if I, um, if I deleted that, there's where that one is. But let me undo that. Now, how do I reveal it? I can select the uh, first clip of me playing, and I can actually drag. Oops, let me make this slightly bigger so I can see it. So I can, what I do is I control click the right side and I can crop Wee, hello me and where's a good place? Maybe right where the certificate is there and there we go. So now there's two of me. Although you could see there's like a little bit if you zoom in here there's a little bit of discrepancy in the color what but what I love about the ScreenFlow program is we could adjust that here so here under the video properties you can scroll down and go under color controls and you can adjust what should I adjust here the brightness Oop, that's too dark oh wait and there we go now it's matched up now I don't want two audios to be going on at the same time so what I go is into the first uh, clip here on the left side of me <laughs> and I can just mute that totally and make it z whoops hold on a second make that zero percent volume or you could also just click mute audio and then well I didn't need to crop off all this other stuff here so I can clean that up and then when I click play There you have it. That's how you can make two of you, one playing the piano and one singing along with that performance. Don't scare too many people with this trick. Thanks. Bye.